Hey guys, welcome up to season seven, episode eleven of Bones. Here we go. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Come on, Penny. Find me those truffles. Oh my God. Truffles. Oh, go on. Find some more. Find some more. Is there that ah, the body? <laughs> Educational theory. Oh, day God. Care. Christine was expelled by the Jeffersonian daycare. Suspended? I'm appealing to the decision. Might have something to do with her mom questioning everything the staff and the directors do because you care so much about our daughter. Hmm? Uh, Multicultural, multilingual song time is not too much to ask. Uh, you did it again. We've gone through two nanny services, four child care providers, three PhDs. That's just crazy. Who's watching Christine now? A medical student, but today's your last day. I don't know why she's leaving. Really? <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I'm going to make a decision by the end of the day. I'm going to hire someone. Boot! You're feeling anxious about separating from Christine? It's absurd. Great. Okay, out of the way. Okay, I gotta go. We're That's absurd. Case in West Virginia. Okay, come on. There's truffles out here? All right, just relax there, bug boy. Let's finish the investigation. What's he talking about? What are you talking about? The truffles. Listen, the skull had eyes that glow red. What's that? Coleoptera fango did it. The females, right? They glow in red to frighten off predators. That's exciting. Interesting. Getting by the bras, approximately 80 years old. Oh, well, maybe Whoa. he just... Clothing Who would murder an 80-year-old? Let old out. Bruh. Oh, this is a professional setting. Not for me. There's nothing more I can do until I get back to the lab. Oh. <laughs> Wow. What was that one for? I enjoyed the previous one so much, I wanted one more. <laughs> I'm not done. Bones. Bones? Ms. Wick, I'm going to need the clothes removed and the bones cleaned as soon as possible. I'm going to need an age for the facial reconstruction. 80 years old. years old? He was closer to 40. The porosity of the bones indicates a male closer to 80. I've been reading musculature and tissue anomalies for 16 years, so oh. the misreading of the evidence is yours. He's 40. Oh. I hate it when mom and mom fight. I'm sure once you settle your babysitting issues, you'll be a lot less cranky. Why are the decedent shoes still on? I'm going to test <laughs> the striated muscle. And I will carbon date the bones, which will be even more accurate. He's a polydactyl. The congenital anomaly common in Egyptian nobles and heritage chickens. Well, since he's neither royalty nor a chicken, getting an ID and the correct age should be a piece of cake. Is he 80 or is he 40? She is adorable. She likes you. What's not to like? She doesn't know I have a record. You think Tappy's gonna be okay with this? Okay, I got the diapers, the Oh, she's so not gonna be okay and, with this. Um, the batteries. I think that uh, we have just made a deposit here in the diaper bank. Oh, I, I can change her. No, allow me, please. Sure. Be back in the chair. <laughs> I got it. That's the man who abandoned me as a child, please. Well, you know, he risked his life, you know, to come back into yours. Look, he loves her. Of Babcock, 65. No, that's not possible. The bones indicated that he was at least 80. Okay, well, but you were 15 years off, and Cam was 25 years off, right? If I were you, I would just hang my hat on margin of error. Yeah, you were closer. Oh, man. Because he was shot at such close range, it shattered the right half of the pelvis? Yes. I did a great job, didn't I? Mm -hmm. And by the way, I'm so sorry both you and Dr. Brennan were wrong about the victim's age. I know that caused a lot of tension. But you chose to bring it up anyway. When will you have the rest of the pelvis reconstructed, Ms. Wick? It's in a million pieces. And we already know that he was shot. You wouldn't want to miss anything, would you, and wind up like me? Did you find the bullet? No, ma'am. It's probably still at the crime scene. We're gonna need it if we're gonna find that weapon. She um, is something. I'm available. No problem. <laughs> he's going after the. I know what he's doing. Your mom was a supermarket girl. Y'all don't see him so upset. You think of anyone who'd want to kill your father? Uh -huh. Mobley's. The Mobley's. The family lives across the valley. Todd recently won a property. Or someone sitting in the room right now. Just like the Hatfields and the McCoys. As a story, there's nothing made up about the Mobleys and Badcocks. <laughs> right. Go on at it, tooth and nail. I got it. 
since the 1800s. That's oh my gosh. <gasps> the feud itself becomes a cultural identity for them. Well, for Lady Justice, it's a boil on her butt. That's why she never sits down. Wow. What are these weapons charges? Well, you want to be a G-Man. <laughs> what? I was in my nice temperature controlled office having some me time and I was suddenly dragged out here to do all the work while you look for truffles. <laughs> you need the bullet to find the weapon, right? I don't even like truffles. What are you talking about? Have you ever had a fresh truffle? I found something here, Truffle Man. Truffle Man. You didn't look at that first? Oh, there it is. This thing keeps going off and there's nothing there. Well. It's because there's a lot of metal in the ground. See, this area was known to have a lot of copper deposits. A lot of money means a lot of motive. Motive for murder. What is that, copper? No. Truffle. <laughs> this Babcock Mobley feud is actually quite tame. The Garros of India would have a duel with an opposing. Anybody race. else notice that he was and just riding in the middle of the road? He wasn't on one side. <laughs> Where it shouldn't. What happened to your house? Tug Babcock happened to it. Claimed part of it was built over his property line. Tug is dead. You sound shot hanging on a tree. <laughs> He's like, here in the woods. yes. There is a God. Feds are never interested in the truth, darling. Fuck, just tell the history, will you? 1893. Oh my God. One of them Babcock girls used her wiles to trick my great 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 grandpa into marrying her. She poisoned him to take his land. Damn. But when they found him, she was poisoned too. Babcocks is savages. No, no, uh, Babcocks are savages. See, she gets it. They think those lawsuits will wear me down, but I don't pay them no never mind. Folks been lurking around at night, digging holes in my land over there. What? <laughs> the truffles? I also found a vein of copper on the land. Oh. So those holes are so some money. making soil samples. So someone else knew about the copper? Well, it seems that way. There's a small mining company that has an option to drill on Tug's land, but only after Tug's death. The company's run by a guy named Dennis Timmons. Makes sense. I feel like these survey reports the copper could have been worth a few million. I still feel like it was just one of those three at the beginning. Is it so terrible to have a dream? No, not when you're in bed. <laughs> I made lasagna. Lasagna. When did you have the time to do that? Yeah, I sang for her, and that uh, would put anyone to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and I gave her a bath and uh, washed her hair. Oh. I mean, I'm walking the straight and narrow. You know that, right? That reminds me of a song. Sure. I wish that straight. Christine and seems very hard to watch. I mean, if he was a pro, he'd be getting paid. Great. Right? That's great. Don't go ruining this by shrinkifying. Shrinkifying. Oh, I just you to temper your enthusiasm. I mean, most people tend to exceed their baseline performance during the initial days of a new situation. Didn't they teach you, you know, how not to be irritating at shrink camp? It was a university. I can't really graduate Phi Beta Kappa from camp. <laughs> okay, fine, Mr. Phi Beta Kappa guy. You can go question Mr. Timmons. Tug Babcock is dead. I didn't do it. <laughs> when you assume I suspect you. I dug up some copper samples to get a bridge loan from the bank. At night? I was trespassing. Night seemed to be a good time not to be seen. The person you want to talk to is that girl who's always walking through those woods at night. Who? What girl? What girl? Beats me. All I know is that she took a shot at me one time. I had to run for my life. And you didn't report her? I was trespassing. Some blonde, maybe 20 or so. It was dark. But I did see her take off, though. Hmm. An old blue pickup. It had a rusted hood, only one tail light. 
Hmm. You really do excellent work. <laughs> Thank you. Can you enlarge this image? Yeah. Oh, that's just white powder on the bullet. This is bone. Bone? What? What? These bone fragments from the bullet should match the victim's bones. But they don't. I don't get it. That's bone from another person? We might have two victims. Oh my god. They're not too happy about getting involved. Well, it's murder. They don't have a choice. Uh, I think the cops are actually glad that they're killing each other off. You're calling again? Yes, and I called five times before that. Oh. Why isn't he picking up? Well, there could be millions of reasons. That's right, and not all of them are good. Oh, Bones. God. This is a man who walked out on me and my brother. Without warning. Why would he just walk out on just your left. daughter? You think I didn't try calling them, too? He's probably out for a walk with her. Don't patronize me, Booth. I'll go home and wait for them in case they come back. I, I can do the preliminary work on my bone fragments today. Call me when you find them. Danny, it's Booth. Listen, I need you to do me a favor, will you? Oh, I was like, who's this random woman eating something? You put that whole pelvis back together? That must have been like a million pieces. Yes. Pretty amazing, right? Oh, look what I found. I meant you're running tests, even though you wouldn't have a reason to if I hadn't found the hole. Which you wouldn't have found had I not insisted that you reassemble the pelvis. Hey, there's no sense in fighting. I mean, this isn't a competition. Oh, that's where you're wrong, Dr. Sweets. It is. And I won. I <laughs> got the results from the marrow test. Stage four and widely metastatic. He had maybe a month to live. That's so sad. I'm gonna tell Booth and Dr. Brennan. This Mowgli Babcock feud killed an old man who just wanted to live out a few more days. She is so. Each one is a different version of how the feud started. Carlene was a oh, witch who gave Stonewall a potion that turned his liver into worms. I have to find the truth. I can use the bones, environmental factors, historical records. Don't you have other work to do? It's a lot. This is about bringing peace and restoring trust in human goodness. <laughs> Don't you think that's important work? So, what am I looking for? There appears to be tunneling in the bone. That could indicate insect activity. Yeah, this yeah. could have been caused by mites. My cell phone must have fallen out of my jacket when we were playing in the park. Give me Christine. Please. Oh, sh Please. She's fine. She's more than fine. I can't go through this again. I can't have another day like this. You won't. He didn't do anything. I love you too. You give Christine a kiss for me. Bye-bye. I really gotta get chained up to listen to that. I'm sorry, you might want to be a little bit nicer. I checked that hit no one. Okay, so I'm supposed to believe that you were shooting at bears. We're gonna need your gun. Nothing. Fine, taking you in. I was gonna see Junior. That's what I was doing in the woods. Junior? Who's Junior? I love him, okay? <laughs> and he loves me. I swear he dropped from heaven that boy. <laughs> She's a How suspect. Well, or the guy on the right. I don't the, know who it is. The, the others That'd be her dad, they right? Sure are lawyer son or I love my granddaddy. I've never heard him. Grandpa <laughs> taught me to shoot. You met Sue Bob Mobley? Why in the hell would you do that? The two of them, they were, you know, getting it on, right, Jimmy? Let's get it on. I love Sue Bob. I want to marry her. <laughs> You know the random hurry you'd be bringing down on your family? He, he was happy for me and Sue Bob. Sue Bob doesn't know it yet, but he, he gave me money for a ring. A ring? <laughs> Ted Babcock was this gonna die in weeks. It's common to reevaluate Sue your Bob. So what a name. To end so the kids <laughs> what a name! So sweet. <laughs> we can't believe that you fired your dad. Because he what took your daughter to the park. The bone's 120 years old? And how is that even possible? Because there was no second victim that night. The bone dust was packed into the ammunition. It's payback. It's a custom in certain societies. It's much like some tribes which construct their homes out of it's the It's payback from the beginning. Oh, that's crazy. I'm thinking that the whole feud started from the wrong premise. The poisoning makes what are no you sense. Making? And why would they have to get married first? So I hope too big of a challenge for you. Fear of failure. Oh, I love truffles, but those taste awful. Now I'm gonna run this through the mass spec and find out what's making my truffles taste like poo. Oh, oh don't say poo. I just ate that. Oh. <laughs> don't do that. 
I'm going to need a warrant to search Norbert Mobley's house. Well, Norbert ordered 30 rounds of Stonewall Mobley ammo. So you can match the bullet you found to the batch that was made for Norbert. The ammo's in the house, yeah. Mm. I'll get you a warrant, Sheriff. If you saw this one, I'm planning a little bit of heaven on you. <laughs> Arsenic, cadmium, lead, and copper. Oh. That's great. You were going to poison us. The acid rock drainage probably contaminated the water table with toxic runoff. If mm. your truffle is toxic years after the area was mined, it must have been deadly in the 1800s. That's what that's when killed Stonewall them. Stonewall and Carlene died. They didn't poison each other, they just well, died. We didn't trust any of the citizens. Until we find someone suitable, I hired two. Two? What? One to watch Christine and the other to watch. The first sitter? Exactly. I thought you wouldn't understand. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, my sweetheart's back. Those bullets were in my parlor, and my parlor's gone. I let that lawyer bitch take those bullets, along with everything else. Hmm. I said it was her! I said it was her! But she has the best motive. I mean, this feud's costing everyone a lot of money because of those lawsuits, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, a ton of that money goes to her. So? If the Tug's cancer made him decide to end the feud, there goes all the money she was going to use to get out of here. You know what? Good job, sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. A lot of people don't understand the training and the skill that goes into what I do based on everything. It's too far. You think? Yeah. See ya. <laughs> yep. A lot. This is made by Ashes to Ammo. This is the cremains are from Stonewall Mobley. Ashes to Ammo. The, 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 the bullet uh, too. Any chance I'm gonna find your fingerprints on this? I don't shoot. Ask anyone. Which means that if you had used the rifle, you probably would have injured yourself on the recoil. Is this hurting you? <laughs> this is all circumstantial. Ladies and gentlemen, we got her. That looks like something. Can you use that? What is it? It's just an idiot <laughs> finisher. Can't you get your government funded asses in gear and find me something? I'd like to remind you that you're a guest here in this lab. Prisoners more like it, Sheree. <laughs> you know that the life cycle of a truffle relies on a complex chain of symbiotic relationships. Tug was killed right in the middle of truffle season. See, that's when the spores are out. Of course, and the grove where Tug was killed is the only one with truffles. If Claire Babcock was there, she would have been covered with spores. So all we have to do is subpoena her clothing. Okay, now I am liking truffles. <laughs> truffles. wanted to end the feud. We could have had a good life away from here. What's wrong with that? I hate this place. <laughs> I knew it. God. I'm so good. So the water in the stream was toxic. In 1892, there was record rainfall there. The toxins from the runoff from the copper mine would have contaminated their stream. Stonewall and Carlene didn't poison each other. You did. You figured it out. Stonewall and Carlene, they were in love. Their deaths were an accident. And the feud, a stupid misunderstanding. How did Sue That's Bob crazy. and Junior react when told them they fought? A lover squabble. They calmed down when I called security. Oh. But love always wins in the end. Always. Yeah. Just never forget that he cheated on you and you still don't know. <laughs> How could you let that happen, Dad? You're vanishing like that, you know what it's like for me. You have every right to feel this way. When I didn't call, why didn't you just call yourself? I thought that you didn't call me because you trusted me. I won't make that mistake again, I promise. Don't say that. I don't want to lose you again. We're just going to have dinner. We have plenty. It's okay. Max, don't be ridiculous. Come on inside, huh? Come on. Okay. All right. Here you go. <laughs> okay. I'll go set another plate. <laughs> you are amazing. <laughs> it's so funny. You definitely is your eyes. I thought she had yours. You think? 
I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I mean, it's just, I'm good. <laughs> I am good. I just realized that this season is only 13 episodes, so I'll finish it today. But like the video, comment down below, subscribe. If you have not already, I will see y'all next time.